Good Sunday evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm meteorologist Lena Mediarango from Fox 26 in Houston, and this is our daily tropical briefing where we have a chance to really dive into all the nitty gritty details of what's happening in the tropics to help keep you informed. And we are going to start with a very quiet Atlantic basin. There is nothing happening out there, and there is nothing expected to form within the next two to five days. And there's a couple of reasons behind that. The first is that there is this very large plume of Saharan dust exiting the coast of Africa, making its way across the Atlantic and any presence of Saharan dust doesn't necessarily stop anything tropical from forming altogether, but it makes it a whole lot harder. Storms don't like all of this dust in the air, and this is reaching us all the way in the Gulf of Mexico and locally. So if you notice some hazy, milky skies over the weekend here in southeast Texas, well, this is why perhaps you had some uh, itchy, watery eyes, scratchy throat, things of that nature. This is going to kind of uh, dissipate and flush itself out. But the other reason is that we just normally don't expect to see all that much activity right now. Uh, it is in July and notice that the peak of hurricane season really is not until August September time frame for us. We see most of our storms kind of around that time frame. And then once we get into October, we start to get those strong cold fronts that act as a barrier to keep anything that might form away from us uh, in, in terms of, you know, anything that might try and make its way into the Gulf of Mexico. With that being said, we are still forecasting an above average season. I don't want you to let your guard down. Now is the time while it's quiet to prepare, review your safety plans, review your kits, make sure that you have everything in place because we know that things can escalate quickly and just taking a look at when I mentioned we see storms typically here in southeast Texas and the Houston area. Uh, most recently, Hurricane Nicholas last year was in September. Of course, Harvey, another, uh, you know, very destructive, powerful hurricane in August. Ike was in September. Rita was in September. Alicia was in August. There have been hurricanes earlier than that, but generally speaking, most of our storms occur in either the August or September time frame. Now, as we take a look at the Pacific, the Pacific hurricane season starts a little bit before the Atlantic one and in general has been a bit more active than the Atlantic basin. We have Hurricane Acel now. Uh, notice the satellite imagery, not very well organized, but uh, it is moving west northwest, which is good because it's taking it away from land masses and keeping any type of impacts to land relatively low. But large swells, rough uh, seas, rip currents from the Baja Peninsula all the way down the western coast of Mexico, certainly possible. Currently a category one hurricane with 85 mile an hour sustained winds as of the 4 p.m. advisory today. It's moving west northwest at 12 miles an hour. It is expected to pick up the pace a little bit uh, is what's forecasted and also potentially to intensify to a category two hurricane. Looking like it's going to begin to dissipate kind of midweek before eventually uh, becoming a tropical depression by the end of the week. And this is all out over open ocean water. So again, no impacts expected to land. And that's it. Nothing else is being monitored for development at this time. Uh, Darby dissipated just to the south of Hawaii. However, of course, we want to serve as a resource for you, keep you informed at all times, regardless of things are quiet or if they're on the active side. So a couple of things to make sure you have handy the Fox 26 weather app. That's always going to issue any watches, advisories or warnings to you, whether they're tropically related or for your local forecast. You can find me on all social media platforms. Would love to connect with you at Lena Arango Fox 26. And we also have a tropics tab up on our website. You can go to fox26houston.com backslash tropics.